Hey, well, welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get us started in our presentation. My name is Ann Hanna and I am a consultant. Um, I'm uh, working on for community schools and for the Department of Education. And I am working with my director, Julie Smith, who is here running the show behind the scenes. Um, she is the director of the Office of School and Student Support. And we're really excited here to talk to you today about um, community schools and to let you know about an anticipated funding opportunity coming from the Maine Department of Education. Uh, but first, it's important to emphasize that the Community School Initiative is grounded in the vision and the mission of the Maine Department of Education. Um, the Maine DOE is an agency that supports schools and educators across the lockdown in providing learning environments that are trusted centers for the community and help all Maine students reach their full potential and leave school prepared for work, life and post-secondary educational opportunities. The DOE's mission guides schools to focus on a whole child approach and encourages innovation. Plus the DOE's strategic plan specifically names support community schools as a priority activity to help promote student and school safety, health and well-being. But what is a community school? So when we're talking about community schools, it's important to know what do we mean? Well, a community school, first of all, it is a strategy, not a program. According to the Coalition of Community Schools, it is both a place and a set of partnerships between the school and other community resources. It is a fundamental rethinking of how to deliver public education in a way that addresses the whole child. A community school can be any public ser school serving pre-kindergarten through high school students using this whole child approach with an integrated focus on academics, health and social services, youth and community development and community engagement. So why are community schools what everybody's talking about these days? Well. If students are coming to school hungry, dealing with stress, lacking adequate mental or physical health care, or dealing with other social emotional challenges, it makes it that much harder to focus on academics and to learn. Community schools address these barriers and support all students in holistic and integrated ways. Far too many communities in Maine continue to face the enduring impacts of generational poverty, and systemic racism. Plus, many schools are still recovering from the impact of COVID and the negative effects on student learning could last for years. We have an opportunity to reimagine school in ways that nurture the gifts and talents of every child and family and that leverage community support. So this graphic here is the essential components of a community school transformation. It's produced by several national organizations in support of the community schools movement, um, including the Learning Policy Institute, the Brookings Institute, the National Center for Community Schools and the Coalition of Community Schools. Studies in human development uh, tell us that every child can learn and thrive when their full set of needs are met which is why you see the ultimate purpose of this approach being featured at the center of this graphic with the statement, all students flourish in thriving school communities and the outer rings that surround the center provide the supportive infrastructure to make this possible. Now, as long as this is working correctly, we're gonna watch a short video that really gives a short, um, but very good explanation of community schools. What makes a school a great school? Caring for the whole child. Expanding the horizons of learning. Building relationships with family. Working together to realize a shared vision. This is the school every student needs. This is a community school. Community schools are public schools that partner with stakeholders to create the conditions students need to thrive. 
Community schools can be found across the United States and their numbers are growing fast. But what exactly makes a school a community school? They integrate student supports. Clinics, counselors, and other services ensure each and every student is ready to learn. They expand and enrich learning. Extended school days, summer programs, and real-world experiences help students reach their full potential. They engage families and communities. Partnering with residents to identify and meet community needs makes everyone feel safe, welcome, and involved in school. They lead in collaboration. Inclusive decision-making and peer learning builds trust among students, educators, families, and communities. When a school stands on these four pillars, it's a community school. Research supports this four-pillar approach, but there's no one-size-fits-all model. Every community school is different because each community is different. Figuring out what it looks like in your community starts by getting actual community members involved. That's the full-time job of community school coordinators. They're the human bridge connecting all the partners and stakeholders that make community schools possible. So that's what makes a school a community school. Now, how do you pay for it? Startup costs like hiring a full-time coordinator can be raised from foundations or state and local governments. Tapping into existing funding and partnering with local businesses can bring in service providers. Sharing resources and staff with partners can help everyone do more. And as a community school becomes more established, leaders can advocate for budgets that sustain their impact and new funding to expand it. Every community school is different. What will yours be like? Get started at communityschools.futureforlearning.org. In Maine, the community school approach was first recognized by the Maine legislature in 2015 through the passing of the public law 20A MRSA in chapter 333. Under this statute, a school board may designate an existing school or establish a new school as a community school. Currently, there are three schools in Maine who are implementing community school strategies with some funding support from the DOE. Old Town Elementary School, the Cape Cod Hill School in New Sharon, Maine, and the uh, Gerald E. Talbot Community School in Portland. South Portland's new middle school is also a community school implementing strategies, and it is funded through other resources. Many schools in Maine have the words community school in their title, but may not be implementing community school strategies with intention. My position for the DOE is to promote awareness of the power of community school strategies and to provide support and technical assistance to schools and communities who are interested in adopting the model. Well, how are community schools different from traditional schools? Uh, well, you know, community schools are meant to serve the unique needs of students, families, and communities. And as you heard in the video, there isn't a one size fits all solution or single way to address these needs. However, community, community schools do share common features that support student learning and are anchored in those four established pillars of the community school. Um, the integrated student supports is that first pillar that you see there in this in this uh, picture and are important to address the out of school barriers to learning that often stem from poverty and racism and to support student success by providing coordinated social services through practices such as school based health centers, vision, nutrition and dental care, counseling and restorative justice with help from identifying community based partnerships. The coordination and integration of services and involvement with community-based partnerships helps to ensure that children have the physical, social, and emotional well-being to come to school ready to learn. That second pillar there, expanded and enriched learning time and opportunities, can include before and after school programming, weekend and summer programs, tutoring, internships, mentoring, and other enrichment supports beyond school hours with access provided for all students through transportation and at a reduced cost or no cost to students and families. 
That third pillar, family and community engagement, <clears throat> which involves actively including family and community members to serve as true partners in supporting and educating students. Family engagement in a community school goes beyond the monthly PTO meetings or theme nights. Structures and practices in a community school support a continuum of family engagement opportunities, such as home visits, play and learns, adult education classes, homework diners, workforce ed development, English as a second language classes. Working in partnerships with local organizations, community schools can tailor programs and practices to align with families' needs. It's important to engage families and community members from the start of the planning process in becoming a community school in order to fully understand the strengths and challenges unique to the community and to determine the right mix of services, supports, and opportunities to engage families. For example, when families and community members participate in the needs and assets assessment, they provide insights into the root cause of issues facing the community and also become invested in the shared vision for student and school success. That last pillar of collaborative leadership practices helps to establish a culture of collective trust, professional learning and shared decision, decision making and shared responsibility for outcomes in a manner that includes students, families and community members. Parents and community members are viewed as assets in the work of the school and become partners in making decisions about the school and their children's education. It's important to keep in mind that while each of the four pillars contributes to a high quality educational environment, the pillars reinforce each other. And it is this synergy that defines the essence of a comprehensive community school. Many schools may have some services in some of these various areas, but may not have a plan for how to integrate those services to achieve specific results. It's the integration, the coordination, and the alignment of the strategies across the four pillars that makes a school a community school. Well, do community schools work? Um, in the report, Making the Difference, Research and Practice in Community Schools, evaluators of 20 initiatives nationwide confirm that community schools have a positive impact on what matters most to students, to parents, and to educators. Evidence shows that schools that implement strategies based on the four pillars show improvements in academic performance, and also student health and well-being, uh, student attendance, family engagement, school climate, graduation rates, and other indicators of academic success. So today I am pleased to let you know that the DOE is currently in the process of securing funding to SAUs whose school boards designate uh, an existing school or establish a new school as a community school per chapter 333. We anticipate to be able to grant five awards of $90,000 to existing schools uh, or newly established community schools. The RFA is currently being processed through our procur procurement office and will hopefully be released soon. Um, but some expectations that we would anticipate to see in this RFA are based upon what's in our, our, our the statute 333, as well as what is best practice. And that would be that schools would use the funds to hire a community school coordinator, conduct a needs and assets assessment, conduct a resource inventory, convene a community school governance team, develop an imp implementation plan and participate in main DOE site visits and professional development. If a school is an existing community school now with and has received funding in the past from the DOE it, and has done some of these strategies already, the process would involve um, looking at your needs assessment and updating uh, what you what's happening within your community because challenges can certainly change over time. And it's a, it's a really, um, Look, it's a, it's a check-in to see, how, are you meeting the needs the way that you intended and where might you go differently now? So this slide here just shows what some of the, um, we, we would anticipate that the costs um, could be used with the money that would be granted to the schools that are awarded um, the funds. And that would be to um, 
support the salary and benefits for the community school coordinator and any additional programming costs that are consistent with chapter 333. And this could include stipends for community school staff who are providing beyond the school day programming, supplies and materials, um, contracted services with outside organi organizations, transportation costs related to extended day programming, um, and then other costs related to your plan to become or to evolve as a community school. So you may be wondering about the community school coordinator position and whether it is necessary. Well, principals and teachers are very busy um, people and have a lot on their plates and the community school infrastructure enables the coordination and integration of the strategies because of the very important role of a full-time community school coordinator. The coordinator facilitates the development and implementation of the strategic plan in collaboration with the school and with the community members and partners. The CSC ensures that program services and supports are aligned and that they're coordinated and integrated with the core instructional program to avoid duplication or fragmentation of services and supports. The CSC's work focuses on managing the integration of before and after school programs, family engagement opportunities, and those integrated student supports in alignment with the community school's vision of success and results. The coordinator is the glue and the anchor for the community school. They have strong relationships with the school staff, with administrations, with the parents, and with the, co the community as a whole. So <clears throat> thinking about what um, might you be asked to do in preparing an RFA uh, for um, to be considered for this grant, there are there will be some questions that you would need to address as a team, and so you could anticipate basically that you are responding to questions that will help tell your story about why you want to be a community school or what do you hope to achieve and what are the barriers that you want to overcome. And if you're an existing school, what do you want to do next in your evolution? What do you need for support to continue um, going? Um, implementing the strategies that you have identified or may now need to identify different strategies. So um, in closing, you know, students can only do their best in school if they have the support for their basic needs. And community schools make it possible for families to access vital services that students need to thrive academically. Often such services and supports are not located nearby or they are financially out of reach for many. Community schools recognize these challenges and provide a coordinated close to home solution that minimizes disruptions to important class time and helps students to attend school and to be ready to learn, setting them up for academic and life success. As a former principal of a community school, I have seen firsthand the transformational power of community school strategies. And I'm really excited for this opportunity for more schools in Maine to adopt this model. Community schools help to bring separate initiatives often found in schools today, such as PBIS or MTSS or project-based learning or restorative practices that brings them together under the same umbrella, all working in a coordinated way toward a shared set of outcomes, as opposed to a more haphazard or, or siloed approach. I have seen how community school strategies help to increase the capacity of a school to create and implement whole school systems and routines that promote a welcoming, engaging, unified school culture focused on the whole child. Every community in Maine contains assets that can support a child to reach their full potential. And community schools are thoughtfully organized to leverage those assets to help achieve better outcomes and that allow students and families and communities to thrive. 